Hi guys, today we're going to cover the complete guide to intermittent fasting. And what I'm going to cover in this video is the definition of fasting, the types of fasts, the benefit, benefits of fasting. And did you know there's a Nobel Prize associated with the benefits of fasting or the metabolism that happens in fasting? I'm going to cover that, how to begin, and what you can eat or drink, and things you'll need when you get started. I'm Junior Gupta. I started research in diabetes in 2008 because in my whole family, my parents, my elders, everybody has suffered. And when I learned that diabetes is reversible, it really intrigued me. Like, why is nobody talking about this? I have presented in uh, many of the leading hospitals at Medanta, at Max, at Fortis, at Escorts, at conferences and usually to the head of departments, the chairmen, uh, that's uh, who I have worked with. Everything I'm going to present to you is research-based. So what's the new knowledge coming out? What are some of the best books out there? And I'm bringing that to you. So it'll be different than what you hear that might be uh, research that's presented by pharma companies. So we are not talking about taking pills or advantages of pills. We're going to be talking about reducing and reversing disease and reversing the need of pills. The company I founded is called LifeHeal, where our mission is to reverse and prevent metabolic disease. And I love reversing disease. I love seeing people get off the insulin and just not need medications anymore. So that's what we do. So stay tuned and watch this video. What is intermittent fasting? As you can see, intermittent fasting is not eating for an extended period of time. And what we are doing is we are doing this in a planned manner. So 16 hour, 20 hour fast, alternate day fast, there's a structure to it. And intermittent fasting is considered to start at about 16 hours of fasting or more. And there is a repetitive routine. So you're going to repeat the fasting protocol every day, every alternate day, and uh, quite a high frequency when you do intermittent fasting. And of course, fasting is an ancient concept. Uh, we see it in many, many cultures. Of course, in the Indian culture, it's a very big practice. So fasting is based on very ancient concepts. Now, what are some of the benefits of fasting? Fasting, as you can see, has a lot of benefits. You can kill senescent cells. Fasting kicks in some uh, metabolic processes where your bad genetic material is cleaned out. Uh, similarly, your toxins are cleaned out. Uh, it reduces insulin resistance. It reduces fatty liver. It can even create stem cells. So after four or five days of fasting, intermittent fasting can help your body produce stem cells, which is quite magical. And it also can boost your immune cells with a abundance of white blood cells. I'm going to talk about the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2016. This was given to Mr. Uh, Yoshinori Osumi from Japan. And it was given for discovering the mechanism of autophagy. So what does autophagy mean? Let me cover that. Auto means self and phagy means to eat, self-eating. So what he discovered is that we have mechanisms in our body that are designed around self-eating. And what he shows, I've watched his uh, lecture at the Nobel uh, Prize uh, lecture, and he shows videos that at 14, 15 hours, your cells open up, they change, and they start consuming and eating other cells. Now, we didn't have any evidence for this, and this is what he proved. So, you have processes in your body whereby not just old cells die and new cells are born, you have processes in your body where it starts recycling cells which are malfunctioning, cells which aren't working that great. And these are very good for your metabolic health. You don't want to sustain these bad genetic material cells. You want them to be good. So a really cool thing with intermittent fasting is that these processes get activated and you'll have better metabolic health. A lot of disease reversal benefits can come from this and disease prevention. Now, fasting is essential for our nature of life. It's how we get rid of bad genetic material. And also, 
it's like you eat, but then there's a time where you, your body gets rid of the excrement of processing that food or processing the intake. And that's fasting. Fasting is when you clean out all the genetic material that was accumulated. How will you begin fasting? In this section, I'm going to cover that. And I'm going to start with visualization of a fast. So you can see what a fast looks like. So a very popular fast is the 16 hours fasting, the 16-8 method. In this, you have an eating window of 8 hours a day. And that's going to open up typically from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. This is a very common uh, fasting routine or 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you don't eat after your eating window closes. And then you go on till the next day and you start basically at an early lunch. Uh, this is the 16-8 method. An advanced version of that is the warrior diet, where you just have a small eating window at 4 hours. And that's typically 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. or 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, this is really good for weight loss, for advanced disease reversal, and... Um, I highly recommend you switch to the warrior diet for some time if you're trying to do fasting. Build up to it. Don't be scared by it. Build up to it. The 5-2 diet is one where you eat uh, on a fasting schedule two days a week and five days a week you eat normally. So those two days you're basically having a lunch and a cup of tea. That's what 500 or 600 calories mean. It's uh, fairly strict on do those days. Again, the 5-2 diet is supposed to bring very good results. And lastly, what I want to show you is the alternate day fasting, where you fast completely every alternate day. Again, this is a very advanced kind of fasting. I haven't done it. I think you only need to do it when you have some specific needs, uh, lifestyle needs, to consider this. Just want to make a quick shout out for people who have diabetes, that uh, you need to use modified rules for fasting these rules may be harmful for you. So if you have diabetes, please uh, contact somebody like us or somebody who knows to uh, get a proper fasting regimen for yourself. My suggestion for you will be to do the 16 hour fast. It's the most common type of fasting. Aim for 16 hours and I'm going to walk you the rest of this video how to start doing that. So start with your training wheels. Now the tactics that people use when they start fasting is they start having dinner early. You will learn very quickly within a day or two that it's easier to eat early and fast till 11 a.m. than to eat late and fast till 1 or 2 or 3 p.m. So eat dinner early. Another tactic you can do is to push back your breakfast every day by 20 or 30 minutes. So go from 8 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9.00. And this is a tactic you can gradually build up your fasting uh, stamina. And try every day. You're going to fail. Some days you're going to go back an hour in your fasting regimen. So keep trying every day to improve your tactics. And beware of the combination of hungry plus angry. Hangry. So hangry happens when you're beginning to fast. And uh, soon it will disappear. I'm fasting as I record this video. So I'm not hangry. I'm actually quite motivated. Your friends in this fasting journey, these are some of the things that you can use as you start fasting. Uh, black coffee. I started drinking black coffee once I started fasting. It's a hunger suppressant. There's also this thing called bulletproof coffee. Google it. It's black coffee with um, MCT oil or it can be black coffee with cream. There's a lot of variations. Uh, have a variety of green teas handy. Higher fat content nuts and seeds. So there's normal nuts and seeds, but then there's nuts and seeds with higher fats. These are macadamia nuts, Brazil nuts. Have those or have the regular nuts and seeds. Have MCT oil. MCT oil is medium chain triglycerides. It's a special derivative of coconut oil. This is supposed to give you energy faster and it will still keep you in a quasi fasted state. And uh, high fat snacks. So anything that's really fatty, will be fasting friendly. Good supplies, here's a list of good supplies that you can use while you're starting your fasting. These will help you along your journey to um, build your stamina. Finally, 10 more minutes. Can I wait 10 more minutes without eating? So what do you say to yourself? Because you are gonna be hungry. 
I'm gonna be hungry soon. What am I gonna say to myself? Just because I have fasted so many days doesn't mean that I don't get hungry. So find your motivational quotes, write them down if you need to. You have to build a library because this doesn't work for me every day. This works some of the days, but doesn't work all of the days. So just find your inspirations. I'm Junior Gupta. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Don't forget to click like if you did. Thank you.